Relative frequencies and deciding whether there is an association, lesson 15.1b. Frequency is the number of times an event occurs. Relative frequency is the ratio of the number of times an event occurs to the total number of events. So it's like a fraction. The relative frequency is the number of times the event occurs over the total number of events. Ratios can be written as a fraction, decimal, or percent. Using the table from the previous video, 15.1a, the relative frequency of just riding a bus is 90 150ths, or 60%. We do 90 divided by 150. But the relative frequency of 7th graders who ride the bus to school is 63 150ths. 63 divided by 150 is 0 0.42. It's 42 hundredths, which is 42%. We can use relative frequencies to decide if there's an association between two variables or events. Now remember, association is how data sets are related or connected. If the total relative frequency of one event is the same or close to the relative frequency of an independent second event, there's likely no association. If they're not close, there may be an association. 300 students were polled to see if there's an association between a student not owning a cell phone and being late to school. First thing we do is find the relative frequency of not owning a phone and late. So here's no phone, here's late, we have an 8. We have no phone late is 8, and we put it over the total of no phones, which would be 80. That's our ratio. 8 divided by 80 is 10 hundredths, which is the same as 10%. We know that the relative frequency of not owning a phone and being late is 10%. So the relative frequency of not having a phone and being late is 10%. Now we find the relative frequency of total late among total polled. That's 33 hundredths, which is equal to 10 hundredths, which is equal to 10%. We compare the relative frequencies, both are 10%, so whether the students have a phone or not, 10% of the students are late. When relative frequencies are the same or close, there's no association. So there's no association between not having a cell phone and being late to school. Now remember, a frequency is just the number of times an event occurs, but a relative frequency is a ratio of the number of times the event occurs to the total number of events. It's a fraction. We can't use ordinary frequencies when we compare students being late to teachers being late because there's fewer teachers in a school than students. The populations aren't evenly split. But we can compare them if we use relative frequencies. Since we can take into account there's less teachers and find a ratio. Relative frequencies use ratios. If there's 300 students, there might only be 12, 13, or 14 teachers for all those students. And if 30 out of the 300 students are late, there might only be one teacher that's late. So keep in mind that relative frequency is the number of times an event occurs divided by the total number of events. It's a ratio. Relative frequency is a ratio. Okay, we finished deciding association, and I've added an additional lesson to 15.1, which is 15.1c. We're going to finish complete a two-way frequency table. Now, before I go, I want to explain one more thing. Over here, we found the relative frequency for the number of no phones that were late over the total number of phones, we could have done this second. We could have found the relative frequency of the totals first of the 30 three hundredths, then found the relative frequency 
for the no phone and late over the total. It doesn't matter. We would still be comparing the numbers and we would get our percentages. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.